tower is all that stands between light and darkness. Oh my god, mind blown. The Dark Tower, the movie following Stephen King's book series, is out! Yay! The only thing better than blonde chicks kicking ass is dimension hopping time traveling physics people who kick ass. There's guns and there's theoretical physics. What more do you want in a movie? But just in case you haven't already seen the film, and I don't know why that would be the case, let me give you the lowdown. So Idris Elba, swoon, plays the last gunslinger on a mission to stop the evil man in black from destroying the tower. The film shows different worlds, so our world of New York City and the gunslinger's world, mid world and the end world where the dark tower is. Now the tower is super important obviously, without it and the beams that stretch out from it holding all worlds together and supporting reality, everything would collapse and would all become extinct. But as the beams start to fall, the barriers between between the worlds weaken and people start to cross over to other universes which means the war comes to our world earth oh my god i'm sorry so there's three super cool theoretical physics ideas in this movie number one in the dark tower other universes exist somewhere within our galaxies. Is that possible? Great question. Could alternative galaxies actually exist? And the answer is absolutely maybe. Some astronomers seem to think that this idea is possible. They call it the multiverse, a cosmos in which there's multiple universes, or rather infinite universes, filling such a vast space in space time that these other universes lay in dimensions that our senses are incapable of perceiving in our small region of the multiverse. Now that sounds really weird, but we actually have some proof that multiverses exist. The UK Royal Astronomical Society made this diagram revealing a cold spot in the radiation produced by the formation of the universe more than 13 billion years ago. See, it's right there. That's the cold spot. They theorized that the cold spot maybe happened when our universe collided with another universe, which might look like this. See how each universe is curved like a fishbowl, and in ours, we're on the inside, unable to see the outside. Whoa. So that leads me to question number two. If other universes might exist, how can we explain that they're totally different, but simultaneously similar moments in space and time, like in the Dark Tower? Great question. You're obviously a physics nerd for asking it. The idea shown in the Dark Tower is not just a multiverse, but an alternate universe. Parallel universes have nothing in common with each other other than that they exist. But an alternate universe implies that these universes had the same history up until a point of divergence. So question number three, if the universe of the Dark Tower and our universe exist on the same timeline, would chaos in an alternate universe cause there to be chaos in our own universe? Oh my God, good question. And the answer again is absolutely maybe. Last year, members of LIGO had a billion spare dollars and with that billion dollars, they did some exploring of space and they discovered that 1.3 billion years ago, two black holes collided and merged together to form a single super massive black hole. And that collision of the two black holes released an amount of energy equal to three of our suns, which is a buttload of energy to send out into the universe. Now, these cosmic disruptions, also called gravitational waves, you may have heard of them, prove that space stuff out there can shake up our universe in an explosive mess here. So obviously what LIGO needs to study next is whether or not there are alternate universes, and if so, what happens when they collide? And look, if you are watching this and you're from LIGO, if you could get either Idris Elba or Matthew McConaughey to collide with my apartment. For both of us. I will give you the next billion dollars. So there you go, legit theoretical science and guns. In one movie, what's not to love? Planning on watching The Dark Tower? The possibility of different universes, does it freak you out or does it fascinate you? Let us know in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't wanna miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.